IELTS speaking full guaranteed predicted questions answer sample for real YELTS exam ban 9. Must prepare for 2024. Presented by Parveen, Sir. Topic Study. Question, do you study or work? Answer, well at the moment I am a student. I am pursuing my degree full-time at the university. Question, what is your major? Answer, my major is computer science. I chose this field because I have always been fascinated by technology and how it can be used to solve complex problems. Question, what are you planning to do after your studies? Answer, after my studies, I plan to work in the tech industry. I am particularly interested in becoming a software developer. Eventually, I would like to work on innovative projects that have a positive impact on society. Question, do you want to change your major? Answer, no, I do not want to change my major. I am very passionate about computer science, and I believe it offers a wide range of opportunities for my future career. Question, do you prefer to study in the mornings or the afternoons? Answer, I prefer to study in the mornings. I find that my mind is fresher and more alert, which allows me to concentrate better and retain information more effectively. Question, are you looking forward to working? Answer, yes, I am looking forward to working. I am excited about applying the knowledge and skills I have gained during my studies to real-world problems. I also look forward to collaborating with others and continuing to learn and grow professionally. Work. Question, how much time do you spend on your studies each week? Answer, I spend around 30 to 35 hours each week on my studies. This includes attending lectures, working on assignments, and studying for exams. Additionally, I spend extra time on personal projects and learning new technologies outside the curriculum. Question, what changes would you like to see in your school? Answer, I would like to see more emphasis on practical, hands-on learning experiences. For example, more internship opportunities and collaboration with industry professionals would be beneficial. Additionally, I think having more mental health resources and support for students would greatly improve the overall learning environment. Question, what kind of flowers do you know? Answer, I know quite a few types of flowers. Some common ones are roses, tulips, lilies, daisies, sunflowers, and orchids. Each type of flower has its own unique beauty and characteristics. Question, are there any flowers that have special meaning in your country? Answer, yes, in my country, certain flowers hold special meanings. For example, roses are often associated with love and romance, particularly red roses. Marigolds are used in many cultural and religious ceremonies, symbolizing respect and remembrance. The lotus flower is also significant, symbolizing purity and enlightenment in various cultural and religious contexts. Question, have you planted any flowers? Answer, yes, I have planted flowers before. I enjoy gardening, and I have planted a variety of flowers such as marigolds, petunias, and sunflowers in my garden. It's a rewarding experience to see them grow and bloom. Question, have you sent flowers to others? Answer, yes, I have sent flowers to others on several occasions. I believe flowers make a thoughtful gift for birthdays, anniversaries, and special celebrations. They can convey a range of emotions and bring joy to the recipient. Topic Birthday Question, what do you usually do on your birthday? Answer, on my birthday, I usually like to spend time with close friends and family. We often have a small gathering at home or go out for dinner. Sometimes, I also like to take the day off and do something relaxing or fun, like going to the movies or taking a short trip. Question, what did you do on your birthday when you were young? Answer, when I was young, my birthday celebrations were more elaborate. My parents would throw a big party with all my friends and family. There would be games, a lot of decorations, a big cake, and plenty of presents. It was always a day filled with excitement and joy. Question. Do you think it is important for you to celebrate your birthday? Answer, yes, I think it is important to celebrate my birthday. It's a special day to reflect on the past year, appreciate the good moments, and look forward to the future. Celebrating with loved ones also strengthens relationships and creates lasting memories. Question, 
Whose birthday do you think is the most important to celebrate in your country? Answer, in my country, the most important birthday to celebrate is probably that of a child. Children's birthdays are often celebrated with great enthusiasm, as it brings a lot of joy to them and their families. Additionally, significant public figures' birthdays, such as national leaders, are also commemorated, but on a more formal and public level. Topic. Game. Question. Do you play video games? Answer. Yes, I do play video games. I find them to be a great way to relax and unwind after a busy day. They can be quite entertaining and sometimes even educational. Question. What kinds of video games do you like to play? Answer. I enjoy a variety of video games, but my favorites are role-playing games, RPGs, and strategy games. I like RPGs because they offer immersive stories and character development, and strategy games because they challenge my problem-solving skills and strategic thinking. Question: Is it good for young people to play video games? Answer: Playing video games can be good for young people if done in moderation. They can improve hand-eye coordination, enhance problem-solving skills, and provide a way to socialize with friends. However, it's important to balance gaming with other activities like physical exercise, studying, and spending time outdoors. Excessive gaming can lead to negative effects on health and social life. Question: Do you often watch others play video games? Answer: Yes, I do often watch others play video games. Platforms like Twitch and YouTube have made it easy to watch live streams and recorded gameplay. It's interesting to see how others play, learn new strategies, and stay updated with the latest games. It's also a fun way to connect with the gaming community. Topic Money Question, how do you save money? Answer, I save money by setting a monthly budget and sticking to it. I allocate a portion of my income to savings as soon as I get paid. Additionally, I try to avoid unnecessary expenses and look for discounts or deals when shopping. I also use a savings account that offers interest to grow my savings over time. Question, what do you think of e-payment? Answer, I think e-payment is very convenient and efficient. It makes transactions quick and easy, and you don't have to carry cash around. E-payments are also secure, with features like two-factor authentication adding an extra layer of protection. Overall, they streamline the process of paying for goods and services. Question, do you often use credit cards? Answer, yes, I often use credit cards. They are very convenient for everyday purchases and offer benefits such as cashback, rewards points, and fraud protection. However, I am mindful of my spending and always pay off my balance in full each month to avoid interest charges. Question, do you think cash will still be popular in the future? Answer, I think cash will still be used in the future, but its popularity will likely decrease. With the rise of digital payments and mobile wallets, many people find electronic transactions more convenient. However, cash will probably remain in use for certain transactions, especially in areas where digital infrastructure is less developed or for people who prefer physical currency. Question, do you like spending money or saving money? Answer. I prefer a balance between spending and saving money. While I enjoy spending money on things that bring me happiness and improve my quality of life, I also understand the importance of saving for the future. Financial security and the ability to handle unexpected expenses are important to me, so I try to save a portion of my income regularly. Topic University Question, have you ever attended a university or college? Answer, yes, I have attended university. I completed my undergraduate studies in computer science at a well-known university in my city. The experience was enriching both academically and socially, providing me with valuable knowledge and skills. Question, what were the main factors that influenced your decision? Answer, the main factors that influenced my decision to attend university included the desire for higher education, the opportunity to learn from experienced professors, and the potential for better career prospects. Additionally, I wanted to experience the vibrant university life, which offers various extracurricular activities and the chance to meet new people from diverse backgrounds. Question, will you study more in the future? Answer, yes, I plan to study more in the future.
I am considering pursuing a master's degree to deepen my knowledge in my field and to stay updated with the latest advancements. Continuous learning is important to me, and further studies will help me achieve my career goals and personal development. Question. What unique opportunities does a university education provide? Answer. University education provides unique opportunities such as access to advanced knowledge and research facilities, the chance to learn from experts in various fields, and the development of critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Moreover, it offers networking opportunities with peers, professors, and professionals, which can be beneficial for career growth. University life also allows students to engage in diverse extracurricular activities, fostering personal growth and a well-rounded education. Topic Teacher Question, would you ever like to be a teacher? Answer, yes, I would like to be a teacher someday. I believe teaching is a rewarding profession that allows you to share knowledge and positively impact students' lives. It would be fulfilling to help others learn and grow. Question, did you have a favorite teacher at school? Answer, yes, I had a favorite teacher in high school. Her name was Mrs. Gupta, and she taught English. She had a unique way of making lessons engaging and relatable. Her passion for literature was infectious, and she always encouraged us to think critically and express ourselves. Question, would you say that you were a good student at school? Answer, yes, I would say I was a good student at school. I was diligent in my studies, participated actively in class, and consistently achieved good grades. I also enjoyed being involved in extracurricular activities, which helped me develop a well-rounded personality. Question, have you ever had a teacher that you didn't like? Answer, yes, I once had a teacher that I didn't particularly like. This teacher was very strict and had a rigid teaching style that didn't resonate with me. It was challenging to connect with the material in his class because it felt more like a lecture than an interactive learning experience. However, this experience taught me the importance of different teaching methods and how they affect student engagement. Topic Week Question, which day is your favorite day of the week? Answer, my favorite day of the week is Saturday. It's the perfect day to relax and unwind after a busy week. I enjoy the freedom of having no work or school obligations and the opportunity to spend time on hobbies and activities I love. Question, which day is your least favorite day? Answer, my least favorite day is Monday. It marks the beginning of the work week, and transitioning from the relaxed weekend mode to the structured work schedule can be challenging. Mondays often feel the busiest and most stressful. Question, how do you usually spend your time on your favorite day? Answer, on Saturdays, I usually start my day by sleeping in a bit longer. I enjoy a leisurely breakfast, often trying out new recipes. In the afternoon, I like to catch up with friends, go for a walk, or visit a park. Evenings are usually reserved for watching a movie or reading a book. It's a day dedicated to relaxation and enjoyment. Question, which day of the week is least busy in your country? Answer, in my country, Sunday is typically the least busy day of the week. Many businesses and offices are closed, and people tend to spend the day at home or engage in leisure activities. It's a day for family gatherings, attending religious services, or simply resting and preparing for the upcoming week. Topic Ice Cream Question, do you like ice cream? Answer, yes, I love ice cream. It's one of my favorite desserts, especially during the hot summer months. I enjoy trying different flavors and combinations, and it's always a treat to have some ice cream after a meal or as a snack. Question, did you eat ice cream when you were a child? Answer, W-E-R, yes, I did eat ice cream when I was a child. It was a special treat that I always looked forward to. I have fond memories of going to the local ice cream shop with my family and picking out my favorite flavors, which often included chocolate and vanilla. Question, are there shops selling ice cream near where you live? Answer, yes, there are several shops selling ice cream near where I live. There's a popular ice cream parlor just a few blocks away that offers a wide variety of flavors and toppings. There are also numerous cafes and dessert shops that serve ice cream, making it easy to enjoy a delicious scoop anytime. Question, can you make ice cream yourself? Answer, yes, I can make ice cream myself. 
I enjoy experimenting with different ingredients and flavors at home. Making ice cream is quite fun and rewarding. I use a simple ice cream maker and follow recipes, or sometimes I create my own by mixing fruits, chocolates, and other ingredients to come up with unique flavors. Topic language. Question. What languages can you speak? Answer. I can speak English and Hindi fluently. Additionally, I have a basic understanding of Spanish, which I learned during my high school years. Speaking multiple languages has been a valuable skill in various aspects of my life. Question. Do you think it's difficult to learn a language? Answer. Yes, learning a language can be challenging, especially if it has a different structure and sounds from your native language. However, with consistent practice, exposure, and the right learning resources, it becomes easier over time. Patience and persistence are key to mastering a new language. Question. Will you learn other languages in the future? Answer. Yes, I would like to learn other languages in the future. I'm particularly interested in learning French and Mandarin. Knowing additional languages can open up more opportunities for travel, work, and understanding different cultures. It's also a great way to keep the mind sharp and engaged. Question. Why did you start to learn English? Answer. I started to learn English because it is a global language and widely spoken around the world. Proficiency in English opens up numerous educational and career opportunities. Additionally, much of the content on the internet, including books, movies, and research papers, is in English. Learning English has helped me access a wealth of information and connect with people from different countries. Topic Wild Animal Question. What's your favorite wild animal? Answer. My favorite wild animal is the tiger. I admire its strength, grace, and striking appearance. Tigers are fascinating creatures, and their elusive nature makes them even more intriguing to me. Question. Are there many wild animals in your country? Answer. Yes, there are many wild animals in my country. India is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including elephants, leopards, rhinos, and various species of birds and reptiles. The country has numerous national parks and wildlife sanctuaries that protect these animals and their habitats. Question. Have you ever seen wild animals? Answer. Yes, I have seen wild animals several times. I've visited national parks and wildlife sanctuaries where I've had the opportunity to see animals like deer, peacocks, and even tigers in their natural habitats. These experiences have always been thrilling and memorable. Question. Where can you see wild animals in your area? Answer. In my area, there are a few wildlife reserves and national parks where you can see wild animals. The closest one is about a two-hour drive away and offers guided safaris. It's a great place to observe animals like leopards, deer, and various bird species in their natural environment. Additionally, there are some zoos and wildlife rehabilitation centers nearby where you can see and learn about wild animals up close. Topic Happy Question What made you happy when you were little? Answer When I was little, spending time with my family and friends made me very happy. Simple activities like playing games, going to the park, and celebrating birthdays brought me a lot of joy. I also loved reading storybooks and watching cartoons, which were a great source of happiness for me. Question. What do you think will make you feel happy in the future? Answer. In the future, I believe achieving personal and professional goals will make me feel happy. Building a successful career, having meaningful relationships, and pursuing hobbies and interests are likely to bring me joy. Additionally, staying healthy and having a balanced life are important factors that will contribute to my happiness. Question. Can you stay happy all the time? Answer. It's not realistic to stay happy all the time because life is full of ups and downs. Everyone experiences moments of sadness, stress, or frustration. However, maintaining a positive outlook and finding joy in small things can help you stay happier overall. It's important to accept that a range of emotions is part of the human experience. Question. Is it important to be happy? Answer, yes, it is important to be happy because happiness positively impacts your overall well-being and quality of life. When you are happy, you are more likely to be healthy, productive, and have good relationships with others.
Happiness also helps you cope with stress and challenges more effectively. Being happy enhances your mental and emotional health, making life more enjoyable and fulfilling. Jewelry. Question, do you have any jewelry? Answer, yes, I have a few pieces of jewelry that I wear on special occasions. These include a necklace gifted to me by my parents, a bracelet passed down from my grandmother, and a couple of rings that hold sentimental value. Question, are you interested in having any jewelry? Answer, yes, I am interested in having more jewelry, but I prefer pieces that have personal significance or unique designs. I believe jewelry can be a beautiful form of self-expression and a way to cherish memories or express one's style. Question, what kinds of jewelry would you like to have? Answer, I would like to have jewelry that reflects my personality and interests. For example, I would love to have a delicate pendant representing a meaningful symbol or a pair of earrings inspired by nature. I'm also drawn to minimalist designs that can be worn daily and complement various outfits. Question, how often do people in your country wear jewelry? Answer, in my country, wearing jewelry varies depending on cultural customs, occasions, and personal preferences. In urban areas, people often wear jewelry as a fashion statement or to accessorize their outfits for social events or formal occasions. However, in rural areas, traditional jewelry may be worn more frequently as part of cultural or religious practices. Overall, Jewelry is commonly worn to add elegance and charm to one's appearance, regardless of the frequency. Topic Chocolate Question, do you like sweets or chocolate? Answer, I enjoy both sweets and chocolate, but if I had to choose, I would say chocolate is my favorite. There's something about its rich and indulgent taste that I find irresistible. Question, what's your favorite flavor? Answer, my favorite flavor of chocolate is dark chocolate. I love its intense cocoa flavor and slightly bitter undertones. It's both satisfying and luxurious, and I often reach for dark chocolate when I'm craving something sweet. Question, how often do you eat chocolate? Answer, I try to enjoy chocolate in moderation, so I don't eat it every day. However, I do indulge in chocolate treats occasionally, especially during special occasions or when I need a little pick-me-up. It's a delightful indulgence that I savor when the craving strikes. Question, when was the first time you ate chocolate? Answer, I don't remember the exact moment, but I must have been very young when I had my first taste of chocolate. I have fond memories of enjoying chocolate candies and treats as a child, and it has been a favorite treat of mine ever since. Chocolate has always been a special and comforting indulgence throughout my life. Topic. T-shirt. Question, do you usually wear T-shirts? Answer, yes, I usually wear T-shirts. They are comfortable, versatile, and easy to style with various outfits. Whether I am at home, running errands, or going out casually, T-shirts are a staple in my wardrobe. Question, do you like T-shirts with pictures or prints? Answer, yes, I like T-shirts with pictures or prints. They add a fun and creative element to my outfits. I especially enjoy graphic tees that feature interesting designs, quotes, or artwork that reflect my personality and interests. Question, do you think older people who wear t-shirts are fashionable? Answer, yes, I think older people who wear t-shirts can be very fashionable. Fashion is about expressing one's personal style, and t-shirts are a great way to do that. When paired with the right accessories and clothing items, T-shirts can look stylish and trendy on people of any age. Question, would you buy a T-shirt as a souvenir on vacation? Answer, yes, I would buy a T-shirt as a souvenir on vacation. It's a practical and memorable keepsake that I can wear and enjoy. Souvenir T-shirts often feature unique designs that represent the place I visited, making them a great way to remember the trip and share the experience with others. Topic Keys Question do you always bring a lot of keys with you? Answer, no, I don't bring a lot of keys with me. I usually carry just the essential keys I need, such as my house key and car key. To keep things organized and avoid carrying too many keys, I use a small keychain. Question, have you ever lost your keys? Answer, yes, I have lost my keys a couple of times. It's always a frustrating experience, but luckily, 
I've been able to find them or have a spare set to use. Losing keys has taught me to be more careful and mindful of where I place them. Question, do you often forget your keys and lock yourself out? Answer, no, I don't often forget my keys and lock myself out. I try to make it a habit to check for my keys before leaving the house. However, there have been a few rare occasions when I forgot them and had to call someone for help or use a spare key. Question, do you think it's a good idea to leave your keys with a neighbor? Answer, yes, I think it's a good idea to leave a spare set of keys with a trusted neighbor. It can be very helpful in case you lose your keys or lock yourself out. However, it's important to ensure that the neighbor is someone reliable and trustworthy to avoid any security concerns. Chocolate. Question, do you like sweets or chocolate? Answer, yes, I like both sweets and chocolate, but I have a particular fondness for chocolate. Its rich and smooth texture, combined with its delicious taste, makes it one of my favorite treats. Question, what's your favorite flavor? Answer, my favorite flavor of chocolate is dark chocolate. I enjoy its intense cocoa taste and slightly bitter undertone. It's a sophisticated and satisfying flavor that I find particularly enjoyable. Question, how often do you eat chocolate? Answer, I eat chocolate a few times a week, but I try to enjoy it in moderation. It's a delightful treat that I like to savor, especially after meals or during a relaxing moment in the day. Question, when was the first time you ate chocolate? Answer, the first time I ate chocolate was when I was very young, probably around three or four years old. I remember being given a small piece of milk chocolate as a treat, and I instantly loved its sweet and creamy flavor. It was a special moment that sparked my lifelong love for chocolate. Topic School Question, where did you go to school? Answer, I went to school at National High School in my hometown. It was a well-established institution with a good reputation for academic excellence and extracurricular activities. Question, did you go to a good school? Answer, yes, I went to a good school. The teachers were knowledgeable and supportive, and there were plenty of resources available for students. The school also offered a wide range of extracurricular activities, which helped in overall development. Question, what are the differences between your school and other schools? Answer, one difference between my school and other schools was the emphasis on holistic education. Besides academics, ABC High School strongly encouraged participation in sports, arts, and community service. Another difference was the modern infrastructure and facilities, such as well-equipped science labs, a large library, and advanced computer labs, which provided a better learning environment. Question, is there anything you want to change about your school? Answer, one thing I would like to change about my school is the inclusion of more practical, hands-on learning experiences. While the theoretical education was strong, I believe incorporating more real-world applications and project-based learning could better prepare students for future challenges. Additionally, expanding mental health resources and support for students would be beneficial. Topic Noise Question, are cities or the countryside noisier? Answer, cities are generally noisier than the countryside. In cities, there are constant sounds from traffic, construction, people, and various urban activities. The countryside, on the other hand, tends to be much quieter, with natural sounds like birds chirping and the wind rustling through trees being more common. Question, what kinds of noises do you find annoying? Answer, I find loud, persistent noises like car horns, construction work, and loud music to be particularly annoying. These kinds of noises are often intrusive and can be very distracting, especially when I am trying to concentrate or relax. Question, what noises do you often hear in your area? Answer, in my area, I often hear the sounds of traffic, people talking, and occasional sirens. There are also sounds from nearby shops and restaurants, such as music and conversations. Additionally, during the day, construction noises can sometimes be heard as new buildings and infrastructure are developed. Question, can you study when it is noisy? Answer, I find it difficult to study when it is noisy. Noise can be very distracting and make it hard to focus on reading or understanding complex material. To study effectively, 
I prefer a quiet environment or use noise-canceling headphones to minimize distractions. Topic Library Question, do you often go to the library? Answer, yes, I often go to the library. It's a quiet and comfortable place where I can focus on my studies, find a wide range of books, and access resources that are not available elsewhere. The library's peaceful environment is perfect for reading and working. Question, did you go to the library when you were a kid? Answer, yes, I went to the library frequently when I was a kid. I enjoyed borrowing books and participating in reading programs and activities organized by the library. It was a great place to explore new interests and learn outside of school. Question, do you think the library is a good place for reading? Answer, yes, the library is an excellent place for reading. It provides a quiet and comfortable environment free from distractions, which is ideal for focusing on a book. Libraries also offer a vast collection of books, magazines, and other reading materials, catering to a variety of interests and preferences. Question, do kids in your country often go to the library? Answer, yes, many kids in my country often go to the library. Libraries in schools and communities actively promote reading and learning by organizing events and activities for children. These libraries offer a welcoming space for kids to discover new books, complete homework, and participate in educational programs, fostering a love for reading and learning from an early age. Topic Music Question, what kind of music do you like? Answer, I enjoy a variety of music genres, but my favorites are pop, rock, and classical. I appreciate the catchy melodies and rhythms in pop music, the energy and emotion in rock, and the complexity and beauty in classical pieces. Question, are there any differences between the music you listened to in the past and now? Answer, yes, there are some differences. When I was younger, I mainly listened to pop and rock music. As I've grown older, my musical tastes have broadened, and I now enjoy a wider range of genres, including jazz, electronic, and classical. I've also developed an appreciation for music from different cultures. Question, do you prefer listening to music alone or with friends? Answer, it depends on the situation. I enjoy listening to music alone when I need to relax or concentrate, as it allows me to fully immerse myself in the experience. However, listening to music with friends can be a lot of fun, especially when we share similar tastes or are attending concerts and events together. Question, how much time do you spend listening to music every day? Answer, I spend about one to two hours listening to music every day. I often listen to music while commuting, working, or exercising. It's a great way to enhance my mood and make daily activities more enjoyable. Topic Art Question, do you like art? Answer, yes, I like art very much. I appreciate the creativity and expression it involves. Art can be very inspiring and thought-provoking, offering new perspectives and ideas. Question, do you like visiting art galleries? Answer, yes, I enjoy visiting art galleries. They provide an opportunity to see a wide range of artworks up close and to learn about different artists and styles. Art galleries also offer a peaceful environment where I can reflect and enjoy the beauty of art. Question, do you want to be an artist? Answer, while I admire artists and their work, I don't necessarily want to be an artist myself. I prefer to appreciate and support art rather than create it. However, I enjoy engaging in creative activities as a hobby, such as drawing or painting, for personal satisfaction. Question, do you like modern or traditional art? Answer, I like both modern and traditional art. Traditional art offers a glimpse into history and cultural heritage, while modern art explores new techniques and ideas. Each style has its own unique appeal, and I enjoy the diversity they bring to the art world. Topic Business Question, do you know many small businesses? Answer, yes, I know quite a few small businesses in my area. These include local cafes, boutiques, bookstores, and family-owned restaurants. I enjoy supporting these businesses because they often offer unique products and services that you can't find in larger stores. Question, do you prefer buying things at big companies or small businesses? Answer, I prefer buying things at small businesses whenever possible. 
small businesses tend to provide more personalized customer service and unique products. However, for certain items or convenience, I sometimes shop at big companies as well. Question, have you ever worked at a small business? Answer, yes, I have worked at a small business before. It was a local bookstore, and I enjoyed the close-knit environment and the opportunity to interact closely with customers. Working at a small business provided valuable experience and a deeper understanding of how such businesses operate. Question, have you ever thought about starting your own business? Answer, yes, I have thought about starting my own business. The idea of creating something from scratch and being my own boss is appealing. I have considered various ideas, such as a cafe or a boutique, but I know it requires a lot of planning, dedication, and resources. Topic Stay up late? Question, do you often stay up late? Answer, occasionally, I stay up late, especially when I have deadlines to meet or when I'm engrossed in a captivating book or movie. However, I try to maintain a regular sleep schedule for optimal health and productivity. Question, did you stay up late when you were a kid? Answer, yes, I stayed up late occasionally when I was a kid, especially during sleepovers or on special occasions like birthdays or holidays. However, my parents encouraged healthy sleep habits, so staying up late was not a regular occurrence. Question, what do you do when you stay up late? Answer, when I stay up late, I typically use the time for activities like reading, watching movies or TV shows, catching up on work or studying, or spending time with friends or family. Sometimes, I simply enjoy the quiet time to relax and unwind. Question, what does it feel like the next morning if you stay up late? Answer, if I stay up late, I often feel tired and groggy the next morning, especially if I didn't get enough sleep. It can be challenging to wake up and feel fully alert and focused. To combat the effects of staying up late, I try to prioritize rest and ensure I get enough sleep the following night. Topic Happy Question, what made you happy when you were little? Answer, when I was little, simple things made me happy, like spending time with my family and friends, playing with toys, and exploring the outdoors. I also found joy in activities such as drawing, reading stories, and playing games. Question, what do you think will make you feel happy in the future? Answer, in the future, I believe achieving personal goals, nurturing meaningful relationships, and pursuing my passions will make me feel happy. Additionally, contributing positively to society, making a difference in others' lives, and experiencing new adventures and opportunities will bring me joy. Question, can you stay happy all the time? Answer, while it's natural to experience moments of happiness, it's unrealistic to expect to stay happy all the time. Life is filled with ups and downs, and emotions fluctuate depending on various factors. It's important to acknowledge and accept a range of emotions, including sadness and frustration, as they are part of the human experience. Question, is it important to be happy? Answer, yes, it is important to be happy because happiness contributes to overall well-being and quality of life. When we are happy, we tend to be healthier, more productive, and have better relationships with others. Happiness also enhances resilience, helping us cope with stress and challenges more effectively. However, it's essential to recognize that happiness is subjective and can be influenced by individual circumstances and perspectives. Topic News Question, do you often watch the news in the morning? Answer, no, I don't often watch the news in the morning. I prefer to use that time to get ready for the day and focus on my morning routine. However, I make it a point to stay informed about current events through other means later in the day. Question, how do you stay informed about current events? Answer, I stay informed about current events by using a combination of sources. I read news articles online, follow reputable news websites, and use news apps on my phone. I also listen to news podcasts and occasionally watch news segments on television in the evening. Social media platforms also help me stay updated, though I always verify the information from trusted sources. Question, do you prefer to read, watch, or listen to the news? Answer, I prefer to read the news because it allows me to process information at my own pace and dive deeper into topics of interest.
Reading also offers the flexibility to skip or revisit sections as needed. However, I also enjoy listening to news podcasts during my commute or while doing chores, as it is a convenient way to stay informed without needing to sit down and watch or read. Question. What impact does following the news have on your daily life? Answer. Following the news helps me stay aware of what's happening in the world, which is important for making informed decisions and engaging in conversations. It can sometimes be overwhelming, especially when the news is negative, but it also keeps me connected to global events and issues. Staying informed helps me understand different perspectives and be a more responsible and active citizen. Question. Have you ever considered becoming a journalist? Answer, yes, I have considered becoming a journalist at times. The idea of investigating stories, uncovering the truth, and sharing important information with the public is very appealing. Journalism plays a crucial role in society by holding people accountable and providing a voice to the voiceless. While I chose a different career path, I still have great respect for journalists and the important work they do. Topic Singing Questions, do you often sing? Answer, yes, I often sing, especially when I'm at home or in the car. Singing is a fun way to relax and express myself, even if I'm not a professional singer. Questions, do you want to be a singer? Answer, while I enjoy singing, I don't aspire to be a professional singer. I see it more as a hobby that brings me joy rather than a career path I want to pursue. Question, do you think singing can bring happiness to people? Answer, yes, I believe singing can bring happiness to people. It can be a powerful form of expression and a great way to relieve stress. Singing also has the ability to uplift moods, bring people together, and create a sense of community, whether through group singing or enjoying a live performance. Question, do you like singing? Answer, yes, I like singing. It's an enjoyable activity that allows me to express my emotions and creativity. Whether I'm singing alone or with friends, it always makes me feel good. Question, do you want to take lessons for singing? Answer, I would consider taking lessons for singing to improve my technique and confidence. While I'm not looking to become a professional singer, learning more about vocal techniques and improving my skills could make singing even more enjoyable and fulfilling. Topic, weather. Question, do you prefer hot or cold weather? Answer, I prefer mild weather, but if I had to choose, I would lean towards cold weather. Cold weather allows for cozy layers and activities like enjoying a warm drink by the fireplace. It's easier to bundle up in the cold, whereas it's hard to cool down in extreme heat. Question, what's the weather like in the place you live? The place where I live has a temperate climate with distinct seasons. Summers are warm but not overly hot, while winters are cold with occasional snowfall. Spring and fall are mild and pleasant, with colorful foliage in the fall and blossoming flowers in the spring. Question, do you check the weather forecast before going out? Answer, yes, I usually check the weather forecast before going out, especially if I have outdoor plans. It helps me decide what to wear and whether to bring an umbrella or sunscreen. Checking the weather forecast ensures I'm prepared for any sudden changes in weather conditions. Question. What are the effects of climate change in recent years? Answer, the effects of climate change in recent years include increased temperatures, more frequent and severe weather events, and rising sea levels due to melting ice caps. Ecosystems and agriculture are disrupted, leading to biodiversity loss and food security concerns. Additionally, there are heightened health risks from extreme weather conditions and the spread of diseases. Sunglasses. Question. Do you often wear sunglasses? Answer, yes, I often wear sunglasses, especially when I'm outside on sunny days. They protect my eyes from the sun's harmful UV rays and reduce glare, making it more comfortable to be outdoors. Question, what kind of sunglasses do you prefer? Answer, I prefer sunglasses with polarized lenses because they reduce glare and provide clearer vision. I also like styles that are lightweight and have a comfortable fit, often opting for classic designs. Question, when was the first time you wore sunglasses? Answer, the first time I wore sunglasses was when I was a child during a family beach trip. My parents bought me a pair to protect my eyes from the bright sunlight while we were playing on the sand. 
Question, do people in your country wear sunglasses often? Answer, yes, people in my country wear sunglasses quite often, especially during the summer months. Sunglasses are not only a fashion accessory but also essential for eye protection, so they are commonly worn by people of all ages. Question, do you think sunglasses are a necessary accessory? Answer, yes, I think sunglasses are a necessary accessory because they protect our eyes from UV rays, which can cause long-term damage. Additionally, they enhance comfort by reducing glare and preventing eye strain in bright conditions. Topic. Crowded places. Question, do you like going to crowded places? Answer, no, I generally prefer to avoid crowded places because they can be overwhelming and stressful. I feel more comfortable and relaxed in quieter, less congested environments. Question, what are some examples of crowded places you visit? Answer, some examples of crowded places I visit include shopping malls during sales, popular tourist attractions, concerts, and public transportation during rush hour. These places tend to have a lot of people, especially during peak times. Question, when was the last time you were in a crowded place? Answer, the last time I was in a crowded place was a few weeks ago when I attended a music festival. There were a lot of people, but the lively atmosphere and the performances made it an enjoyable experience despite the crowd. Question, how do you feel when you are in a crowded place? Answer, when I am in a crowded place, I often feel a bit anxious and uncomfortable due to the noise and lack of personal space. However, if I am with friends or engaged in an exciting activity, it can also be quite exhilarating. Question, why do some people enjoy being in crowded places? Answer, some people enjoy being in crowded places because they find the energy and buzz of a large crowd exciting. It can be a way to socialize, experience a sense of community, and enjoy events that are more lively and vibrant due to the presence of many people. Topic Celebrity Question, do you have a favorite celebrity? Answer, yes, I have a favorite celebrity, and it's Shahrukh Khan. I admire their talent, work ethic, and the positive impact they have through their charitable activities. Question, have you ever met a celebrity in real life? Answer, no, I have never met a celebrity in real life, but I would love to have the opportunity to meet one of my favorite celebrities someday. It would be exciting to see them in person and possibly have a conversation. Question, why do you think people are interested in celebrities? Answer, people are interested in celebrities because they often lead glamorous and intriguing lives that seem different from our own. Celebrities can be sources of inspiration and entertainment, and their success stories can motivate people to pursue their own dreams. Question, do you think celebrities have a positive influence on society? Answer, yes, many celebrities have a positive influence on society. They can use their platform to raise awareness about important issues, support charitable causes, and inspire people to achieve their goals. However, it depends on how they choose to use their influence. Question, how do people in your country react when they see a celebrity? Answer, when people in my country see a celebrity, they often get excited and may try to take photos or get autographs. Some might simply admire them from a distance, respecting their privacy. The reaction generally depends on the celebrity's popularity and the context of the encounter. Topic Cake Question, do you like eating cake? Answer, yes, I enjoy eating cake. It's a delicious treat that comes in many flavors and varieties, making it perfect for different occasions and celebrations. Question, what is your favorite type of cake? Answer, my favorite type of cake is chocolate cake. I love its rich, moist texture and the deep chocolate flavor, especially when it has a creamy frosting. Question, do you often have cake on special occasions? Answer, yes, I often have cake on special occasions such as birthdays, weddings, and holidays. It's a traditional way to celebrate and share joy with friends and family. Question, have you ever baked a cake yourself? Answer, yes, I have baked a cake myself a few times. It's a fun and rewarding activity, especially when the cake turns out well and everyone enjoys it. I like experimenting with different recipes and flavors. Question, is cake popular in your country? Answer, yes, cake is very popular in my country. 
It's a common dessert for many celebrations and is enjoyed by people of all ages. There are also many bakeries and cafes that specialize in different types of cakes. Topic Social Media Question, do you use social media? Answer, yes, I use social media regularly to stay connected with friends and family, share updates, and stay informed about current events and trends. Question, what is your favorite social media platform? Answer, my favorite social media platform is Instagram. I enjoy its visual focus, where I can share photos and videos, follow interesting accounts, and discover new content through hashtags and stories. Question, how often do you check your social media accounts? Answer, I check my social media accounts several times a day. It's a habit that keeps me updated on what's happening in my social circle and the world. Question, do you think social media is good or bad for society? Answer, social media has both positive and negative impacts on society. It allows for greater connectivity, information sharing, and social movements. However, it can also lead to issues like misinformation, privacy concerns, and social anxiety. Question, have you ever taken a break from social media? Answer, yes, I have taken breaks from social media. Sometimes, it's necessary to disconnect and focus on real-life interactions and personal well-being. These breaks help me recharge and use social media more mindfully when I return. Topic Boredom Question, do you often feel bored? Answer, not often, but I do feel bored occasionally, especially when I have free time and nothing specific to do. I try to find activities or hobbies to keep myself engaged and entertained. Question, what do you do when you feel bored? Answer, when I feel bored, I usually read a book, watch a movie, listen to music, or take a walk. Sometimes, I try to learn something new or work on a personal project to make productive use of my time. Question, did you feel bored when you were a child? Answer, yes, I sometimes felt bored as a child, especially during long holidays or when there were no planned activities. However, I would quickly find ways to entertain myself, like playing games, drawing, or spending time with friends. Question, do you think boredom is beneficial in any way? Answer, yes, boredom can be beneficial as it often encourages creativity and self-reflection. It can motivate people to seek out new experiences and hobbies, leading to personal growth and the discovery of new interests. Question, how do people in your country usually deal with boredom? Answer, People in my country deal with boredom in various ways, such as socializing with friends, engaging in sports or hobbies, watching TV or movies, and using social media. Many also take up new activities or learn new skills to keep themselves occupied. Topic Color Question, what is your favorite color? Answer, my favorite color is blue. I find it calming and soothing, and it reminds me of the sky and the ocean. Question do you think colors can affect people's moods? Answer, yes, I believe colors can affect people's moods. For example, warm colors like red and orange can evoke feelings of energy and excitement, while cool colors like green and blue can create a sense of calmness and relaxation. Question, are there any traditional colors in your culture? Answer, yes, there are traditional colors in my culture that hold symbolic meanings. For example, red is often associated with luck and prosperity, while white is used in ceremonies to symbolize purity and new beginnings. Question, do you like to wear clothes in bright colors? Answer, it depends on the occasion and my mood. While I appreciate bright colors for their vibrancy, I tend to gravitate towards more neutral or muted tones for everyday wear. However, I do enjoy adding pops of color to my wardrobe occasionally to make a statement. Question, what color do you think represents happiness? Answer, I think yellow represents happiness because it is bright and cheerful, reminiscent of sunshine and warmth. Yellow is often associated with positivity, optimism, and joy. Topic Shopping Question, do you enjoy shopping? Answer, yes, I enjoy shopping, especially when I'm looking for something specific or exploring new stores and boutiques. It can be a fun and satisfying activity. Question, what do you usually buy when you go shopping? Answer, when I go shopping, I usually buy clothes, accessories, 
groceries, or household items. Sometimes, I also shop for gifts or souvenirs for friends and family. Question, where do you prefer to shop, online or in-store? Answer, I prefer to shop in-store because I like to see and feel the items before purchasing them. It also gives me the opportunity to try on clothes and interact with the staff for assistance. Question, do you think shopping online is convenient? Answer, yes, shopping online is convenient because it allows for easy comparison of prices and products, and it saves time and effort. However, I still prefer the experience of shopping in-store for certain items. Question, how often do you go shopping? Answer, I go shopping regularly, but the frequency depends on my needs and schedule. I may go shopping for groceries weekly, but for clothes or other items, it could be less frequent, maybe once or twice a month. Professional paid online classes guaranteeing a target band of 8 to 9 in one go. Helpline number, WhatsApp plus 918-360-555364. If you really want genuine videos for IELTS exam with real exam example with full help support kindly like share and subscribe my channel don't forget to like share and comment your suggestions because your suggestions are very important.